Hey, Mr. Homeschool. Hey, how you doing? I'm coming back from a farmer's market. I went to go pick up some vegetables and this honey. You know what, matter of fact, I don't know where honey comes from. Do you know where honey comes from? Well, let's go see my friend, Beekeeper John, to find out more. I'm here with Beekeeper John. Thanks for having me here today. Uh, can you please give us a quick tour of your hive? Sure. Well, this is a what they call a horizontal beehive, which is a little different than most beehives you see today. This is the main entrance where you can see the bees are going in and out to go get the, the pollen to make honey. So we're going to go in and open this up and we can show you how how they build their home. Cool. Wow. We use a smoker because that calms the bees down and makes them go back in rather than coming out. There's going to be some that are going to be flying around. Uh, this is like what the frames look like before they start building their comb. As you can see, there's plenty of bees on it already. And there's plenty of bees down inside. We're just going to push them down in there. Let them. Until we get snow in here. This is what they call a hive tool. It's, be, it's to break the frames apart a little bit because the bees make this sticky stuff called propolis, which seals everything in between the hives. And so that you have to like prime apart a little bit. Now, those two frames didn't have anything. Now I'm coming to the divider board, which is gonna open us up to the hive. Whoa. As you can see, wow. this is just a lot of bees. Is that honey right there? No, no. That's just this is just a board. This isn't even the. Oh, what's the thick thing? Well, they're starting to build some comb, some comb, but that's not where you you really want it, them to build it. This is. Let's get this next one here. So here's a them building their comb. Okay, and it's full of bees. Wow. Oh, bees. So you can see the comb up close there. And what you look for, I don't know if you can see it in the picture, but it's like like a looks like a liquid inside the comb. That's uh, like the nectar. That's before that's where uh, what it's like before it becomes the honey. All right, so they're filling them with with nectar. I'm just trying to keep the bees away. Hey, so Beekeeper John, I see a lot of bees all around us. Am I safe here? Yeah, well, first of all, you're protected by the suit. Ah. Um, as you can see, now that I sprayed them over here, they're oh, all yeah. gonna, they're gonna all try and go back into the hive because they don't, so, they, they may think that the, uh, a fire is coming or something, okay? Oh. But, and I'm getting closer to the brood chamber there's, there's there's different frames there's frames for the honeycomb for honey and then there's the comb where they lay their young oh these are all cross wow these are all cross i'm looking for a brood a brood frame these are all honey frames more honey frames wow so, oh no here now we're coming up to a brood frame this is where they lay their eggs for new bees, because the bees only will last for like seven weeks or so. So the, this is Whoa, a brood frame. That is a lot of bees there. You can see these are different. This is is capped honey. So those are honey full of honey, and they're capped. You can tell them they're different than this these the tan ones here, which are capped honey bees that are like, uh, you know, they, they laid their eggs and they're gonna hatch at some point. Let's take a look at the other side. Oh, wow. Look at all those bees. And you can see that that's all brewed down there in the center of the frame. They put the honey at the top and the brood in the middle. 
song. Beekeeper John, is are all these honeybees or are there or are there any any other kind of bees here? Well, it's just honeybees. Um, is there like wasps and other things or is wasps are not bees? Oh, I didn't know that. Honeybees are bees, bumblebees are bees, and there's some others, but yellow jackets and wasps are a different. They're not considered bees, they're considered like the wasp family. Okay, all these are just honeybees then. There's another brood frame. As you can see, I'm going further down into the into the hive. You can see the the brood. See the the brood are the the tan ones, the honey is at the top in the capped cells. If we're lucky, maybe we'll see the queen, but look at all those bees. Just a lot. And see how they're, they're pretty docile. They're not attacking us. Yeah. But I, I don't want to go too far into here. Sure. There's like an, another five frames that I, I'm just going to leave them be. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to push these frames back together. There's a lot of bees in here. And there's some, there was some comb that they made between the two frames. So when I opened it up, it kind of opened up some honey, uh, some honeycomb. So there's some loose honey in there and they're gonna probably go after that. You don't want to break apart too many of the yeah. honeycombs because then uh, get some crazy and then other beehives may bees may come and steal the honey for the oh, small, really? a lot of uncapped honey it'll it'll like attract other bees so we gotta try and so again so there's all these are just plain bees on a piece of wood and they're building a little piece of comb because it was the last frame okay so beekeeper john so what kinds of bees are here do they all have different jobs uh yeah well the, first of all there's the queen bee which is should be only one and all the others are worker bees, and uh, there's some that just tend to the queen. Uh, that's what they call them, like nursing uh, bees. Then there's some that just uh, make comb. There's some that uh, clear out old comb to make way for new bees. There's um, there's guards who will come out and, uh, and attack if they or if they're attacked. Uh, and then there's those that go and look for uh, pollen so that they can um, and they bring that back to the, the hive to make the honey as you can see everybody coming out the front those are all the ones that are either leaving or coming back with pollen I, I don't know if you can see it up close but the ones that are arriving sometimes you'll see the back legs are like orange or yellow and that would be the, the built-up honey on their on their rear, rear legs Whoa, it's hot in these suits, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, <why> I'm out. <laughs> so I know that these bees are meant to have the honey. So how and when do you get the honey? Uh, there's actually usually two times. They usually do, if there's extra honey when they look in the spring, then they can take it, you could take some of the honey then. But most of the time it's in the fall uh, before the bees will start getting, their colony will start getting smaller and smaller because there's going to be less and less pollen for them to get. So as the, as the colony gets smaller, there'll be a lot of extra frames of honey. You have to leave some of the honey for them so that they can winter over for their food. But the extra we can take and extract that honey. There's a couple different ways to extract it. You can put the frames and what they call uh, an extractor and it spins the frames and all the honey comes out oh cool and then it's collected in the bottom or you could cut out the frames with honey and put them in a press and press out the honey uh, but then they have to remake their comb the next time so um, like I said there's a couple different ways you just got to make sure that you leave enough for them to overwinter because the, the bees do not hibernate they uh, they get into a small group on one of the frames and keep the queen warm during the winter. Wow. And that's why on the frames that we saw with the brood, there was honey at the top 
and sometimes there's honey at the bottom. So yeah. they'll get in the middle of the frame on the, in the winter and they can they don't have to go too far to get the honey either at the top of the frame or the bottom of the frame. Um, and then we usually leave a little extra honey on either end of the of the hive. But we really reduce the size of the, the hive over the winter because there's not that many bees. Thank you very much, Beekeeper John, for showing us around. This was so interesting to know where honey actually comes from. Oh, you're welcome. Come back anytime. When it gets time to be get some honey, then uh, we'll give you some. Great. Thank you very much. Hey, thanks for coming with me to learn all about honey and bees. And thanks again to Beekeeper John for showing us around. Hey, so why did the bee go to the doctor? Because he had hives. St. Ambrose, patron saint of beekeepers, pray for us. St. Abigail, patron saint of honeybees and beekeepers, pray for us. Hey, so I just want to give a special shout out to Gigi, who sent in this great portrait of Mr. Homeschool that she made on paint. Well done. So hey, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more things like this, please like this video and subscribe to this channel. And as always, thank you and God bless you. Mr. Holmes.